Hello everybody, Aquagear here, and welcome back to another episode of Oxo Adventure. Today, we are going to be building a nano farm right in this position right here. A nano farm is a machine that uses dispensers, bone meal, and a little bit of redstone. That makes um, the machine give us a lot of crops and stuff. <laughs> so yeah, we are going to be building one of those today, maybe fancy it up a little bit. But before, before we actually do start on it is... I want to say who actually made it because this design was not made by me. It was actually made by a YouTuber that I actually talked about before named Exumavoid. He is part of the Hermitcraft server and he's pretty well known on YouTube. So um, if you actually want to see the, because I'm not doing a tutorial, I'm just going to kind of build it and walk along with you guys building it. So, and he actually made three versions of this, like one that was broken 1.6.4, one that was broken 1.7, 1, 1 and the one that I'm going to build is is the one working in this update. But, I would go check him out, um, it's YouTube, his, his YouTube name is, it's actually really hard to spell, it's X-I-S-U-M-A-V-O-I-D, Exumavoid. So you guys should uh, go look him up. He's actually like a big redstoner. So if you guys really like redstone, go look him up. But anyway, yeah. Um, uh, for the beginners, we have to dig. Um, and by the way, I'm going to be following his tutorial. So there might be a couple cuts. Because I don't know this design by heart. I just kind of... Again, I go along with the tutorial. Because honestly, I have no idea how this works. I mean, obviously I have a general idea or I wouldn't be building it. But... It's not like I built the thing, I'm just using the tutorial. So this is, we need to make it four wide, and then one side by five, and then one side by six. So real quick, I'll dig out this rest of it. Well, I'm going to need to get my pickaxe. So guys, what I'm going to do is I'm going to finish digging this hole, get all the materials together, and then I'll see you guys in a second. Alright, guys, well, um, I didn't finish the digging yet, but I, I mean, it's like three seconds, but I have gotten all the pieces together for actually building it i mean i'm on his video tutorial right now and he shows all the materials needed so um i guess um let's go get all the materials that we actually need so um let's go over here and i actually put them in these chests kind of randomly so let's just stick that crap in there all right so let's see i know we needed two comparators and yes um i made these with the quartz i made that i got from the nether um then we have the seven slabs, crap, 36 stone bricks, or any building material, one sticky piston, 13 redstone, three torches, three repeaters, uh, is that all of that from that chest? And then two reds, I was about to say two redstone buckets, no, two water, two water buckets, a hoe, a fence, eight hoppers, six chests, six dispensers and a pressure plate and i think that might be it yep i think that will be it so guys remember i will be following the tutorial so you probably just heard the tutorial in the background yes i will be following the tutorial so i might mess up a lot but the first thing we do need is we need to get these right here and um i'm trying to figure out what role this needs to be on i think it needs to be about right here so bam bam then one, two, three, like that, and then a repeater right here. So guys, this is the beginning part, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep going with the tutorial, and I'll see you guys when I know how to build the next All step. Alright guys, well, the next step that we need to do is we need to take some redstone, put some redstone down over here, and then a hopper clock right here. So build this up a little bit. Put a clock right there. No, like that. And then right there. Well, that is the next step. So, um, uh, I know there's going to be a lot of cutting this video, but um, I'm going to keep watching the video, and I will see the next step. All right. Well, now we need to take our two comparators, put one right here, put one right there, and then I'm trying to think what else. Oh, yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Now I remember now we just need to put, no, not right there, two blocks right there. Yep, and now, hmm. oh yeah, 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 now I remember. Well, that's going off for no reason. Um, we need to take our torch, put a torch right 
Is this right? No, 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 no. Yep, that is right. I'm trying to think. There's something weird that I did. That is that supposed to go right there? No, I don't think so. You know what, guys? Um, I'm gonna build this part off camera. I'll see you guys in a sec, because this is actually really confusing. Alright, guys, well, I figured out what I'm going to do. I'm not going to actually build it on camera. What I'm going to do is I'm going to actually build the steps, and then show you on camera what I did. So, what I did is I fixed that part, and then what else I did is um, I came over here. And this uh, comparator put two, red, put two redstone uh, wire, two redstone dust, whatever you guys want to call it right here. Put a block right here. Then... Well, of course, I put the piston piston down right above the repeater right there. Then take a half slab, put, put it right beside here. Then take a block on either side of it and put a torch. So that is the next step to getting closer to our nano farm. So I'll see you guys when the next step is finished. All right. Well, the next step of the tutorial is done. So the next step is you put three redstone dust wire, whatever, right there. One right there, then put a slab right there, then come over here to the hopper, put uh, two rest two blocks above both of them, put one on each side, and then remove the middle one and put water in it. So that is the next step, and I'll see you guys when the next step is oh, finished. Alright guys, the next step is done, and this one actually took a very, like, this one was a lot of work, so... Why, what I ended up doing is, I might not get all of this correct, but I ended up um, doing the, put the dirt here, two blocks, I added the hoppers on each side, I added the torch right here, um, two blocks on each side, of course a hopper, then two, two half slabs, put the redstone dust right there, um, added these two blocks, put the water right here, and guys, I know this doesn't make a lot of sense, because I just skipped in like an entire step without showing you, but... Really, if you really do want to get build this with a full tutorial, just go to Exuma Void's channel and look at it. But, yep, this is the next step. And I'll see you guys when the next step is done. The next layer is done. This layer was actually really simple. All I did is place the next three dispensers, put hoppers on each of them again, like the other side, put two slabs right here, and in the back, just put two repeaters redstone in front of them and redstone behind them so that step was actually really simple you guys could understand that so i think maybe there's maybe one or two more steps but we are actually getting close to completion all right guys well i did not do the next step because this is actually the final step and i wanted to do it on camera so the last step we have to do is we have to add um chests right here chest right there chest right there uh come on there we go then a fence post right here, pressure plate right here, and there's two more last steps, so let's go down here. We have to put this in uh, subtract mode, which I already did, and we have to put one item in here. So let's just put a piece of dirt. Oh, because there's two items. Will that work? Oh, what the heck? Alright, well that should work, I think, so... Let's head to the top. If this doesn't work, then I'll fix it somehow, but hopefully it does work, because this would suck if it won't. Yep, and it does work. Last thing we have to do is we have to take our hoe and till the soil. So there we go. Now we just have to fill these with uh, bone meal, and that is it. But um, the actual redstone part of this is done, so real quick... Without actually building anything around it, let me show you how it works. Let's just dump everything in here. And where's our bones? I know we have bones around here. Alright, let's take these bones. And really, that this this is what I was waiting for, the nano farm. Because people make huge wheat farms, huge potato care farms, but we don't need any of that. So we really just need this. That's all we need. So... Really, I wanted to build this the first episode, but the only reason I didn't is because we need a, we need a lot of bone meal for this machine to work. And since we have the mob farm now, that's not going to be a huge problem. So, one, two, three, four, five. 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 Let's put one in each one. I just want to divide this evenly. And let's go to bed. I can only sleep at Well, it's so close to night. So yeah, guys, beware that this machine guzzles <laughs> bone meal, so I'd be careful with that, but since I do have a mob farm, I don't really mind. 
in the next part of the episode, of course, we're going to have to decorate this. So I'm just really waiting until all the bone meal goes in here. So, come on. Yep, it's going in, but it's going to go very slowly. So, yep, but again, it's actually really simple to build. All the materials that is needed, um, Exuma Voice shows in his redstone uh, the tutorial. But I honestly, I really, really recommend go watch the tutorial because unlike me, I skipped parts. I did a horrible job of explaining it because... I don't know this machine by heart, so I couldn't really do it as good, but he shows every single piece of material I needed, shows exactly how to build it, like, honestly, he did, if I could say there's a per perfect tutorial out there, he has the perfect tutorial, so, really, go watch him. Now, at the we're at the point where we just gotta wait <laughs> until all the bone meal feeds in, but, um, actually, let me look for more, more bone meal. Mm, do I have any more? Or is that all I brought? Um, Alright guys, you know what I'm going to do? I said I was going to do it right now, but I guess I can't because I have to wait for all the bone meal to go in. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to wait until all the bone meal comes comes in. I'm actually going to go back to the farm and actually maybe AFK for a little bit to get more bones to fill this entire thing up. And then I'll see you guys there. Alright guys, well, um, I actually went to the bone meal farm, uh, well not bone meal farm, um, blah 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 map farm, and I harvested bones for a while, and most of this stuff is still getting filled up, and that one's full, so, it actually took a very long time, this is probably, it probably like an hour or two past by now, but, anyway, um, and I actually tested it, it does work, just so I don't look stupid on camera, but, the, really, the main crops you grow with this is carrots, we can find some potatoes, potatoes, and let's get some, um, and this will not work with, like, melons or pumpkins, those will not work, but it does work with everything else, so, if we go over here, and we step on the pressure plate, and then the water over there is keeping this hydrated, if you're really wondering if it's not magic, but you just hold down, and as you can see in my inventory, we get bone meal super fast, or not bone meal, wheat super fast. And this also works with carrots, if you're, I believe, like, wondering. Works with carrots. And it also works with potatoes. So really, you just stand here for maybe an hour or two. But remember, you gotta fill this to the brim with bone meal, or, I don't know. But this does give you a lot. I mean, I stood there for maybe five seconds, and it, like, maybe doubled this. I, mean, I know I had, like, 20 potatoes, I had, like, 15 carrots. So, yeah, it almost doubled it, but the next thing we have to do is we have to kind of dress it up. I mean, I don't want to just leave it like that. So, let's grab some stone. Uh, maybe some sand. I don't know if sand will be the best for this, but I'm just going to go with it. And some spruce. Uh, yeah, and some logs. Alright, so let's just, let's not build anything amazing with this. Let's just... Not, and the one thing i got to be careful is I don't want to block anything that will break the build so let's just make a little border around it like this with logs and we'll see how this is going to turn out there we go and this will be the place we stand let's see if this will still work yep it still works and let's add some spruce around the edges I love how the spruce and the logs have almost the same color even though those are oak logs and this is spruce Actually, I like that a lot because they go very well together. And then, um, I don't think we can put sand in this, honestly, because that'll mess a lot of stuff up. And I want to see if we can still access the chests like this. Yes, we can. Uh, let's just put a piece of sand right there so we can get up. Um, okay, so now let's just maybe make a little roof of it. Okay. This is turning out okay so far. And I think we can do another, something like this, for the roof. Uh, maybe just like that. Uh, hopefully I have enough logs. No, I will not have enough logs. I don't, I, I don't think so, at least. Doesn't look like it. Yeah, um, one, two, three, four. I need one more log. Please tell me I have one more log in here somewhere. Come on, I don't want to run this short. 
I needed one more log and I do not have it. What's up with that? All right, well, let's just take this. Let me get my axe. Let's actually go to bed. So we can not get attacked by monsters viciously. Okay, let's grab our axe. It's a pretty good axe. Um, I don't know, where should we chop this out? Let's maybe do these two corners right here. And replace them with birch. That doesn't look too amazing, but I don't care. Gotta save on them blocks. Actually, let's try, let's try the stone. Let's climb up. I guess we'll just use the sand as building blocks. Um, you know, I want to try, actually. This is probably going to look super horrible. I do not care, though. Hopefully, this isn't odd, or this will suck a lot. Alright. This is good. No, I, I meant even. Let's just see what that looks like. Alright, yeah, let's just leave it like that for now. So, all we have to do is come in here. Just press this, get our stuff. We can fill it with bone meal. Actually, it looks pretty cool back there. Um, can we not access that? All right, well, do we really need to do that? Honestly, I'm using this for the... All right, so yeah, I don't know. I'll get to that somehow. I mean, it's not a big deal. I can just go around, pop a hole, fill it in. I mean, it's not going to run out of bone meal anytime soon. So yeah, I think that it'll just stay like this for a while. So, oh, I'm so glad we got this build over with because it's such a useful machine in survival. Uh, let's put all our stuff away. And, yes, guys, this will be the end of the episode. So, yep. Guys, thank you for watching. This is Mako Gear. Make sure to leave a like and a comment as it supports my channel. And I'll see you guys later. God bless and goodbye.